Hello everyone, my name is Mike, you're watching KNMRD Radio Stuff, thanks for tuning in. Before we start, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can get notified when I uh, do new videos. Thank you! Today, we're looking at something cool, we're looking at the MFJ 223 antenna analyzer. This thing is freaking cool. Uh, 0.5 to 60 megahertz range, uh, color LCD, micro USB rechargeable with its own internal lithium ion battery. This thing is awesome. Um, it weighs nothing. Perfect for portable use. I've taken it out a couple times already and uh, it is fantastic. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, what it looks like in comparison to some other things, another antenna analyzer, how big is it uh, really, uh, <clears throat> well, it's, it's, a, it's smaller than my hand. So uh, this thing is neat. So let's, let's dive in. So just to give you guys a relative idea of size, here it is compared to my regular MFJ analyzer. This is the uh, MFJ 269. Here it is, next to a Bofang. It's pretty much the size of a Bofang. Incredible. Here it is, next to an Apple Magic Mouse. Tiny, 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 lightweight, portable. All right, so let's fire this thing up here. So you got, you got five buttons, basically, and then you have uh, the knob up top here, which is your dial, and it also presses in, so the, the buttons are in such a way where you, you kind of have to force them for a second. You got to hold the power button down for three seconds. Now that's like a safety thing. If this thing's in your bag, you don't want it, uh, you don't want it going off. <clears throat> so this is what the screen looks like on startup. And you can put in your call sign there, which I thought was pretty neat. And you basically have really only a couple functions. It's got a BNC on top, so I've got my coax here with the BNC adapter. So let's plug that in. <clears throat> See if we can get focused here. And you've got single and scan. And the F3 and the F4 are going to basically do that. So a single scan, if I hit single, that's going to bring me to this. So now this top button comes in, and notice, see how it's cycling through the frequency. So if I want to say, all right, where is, what is this antenna look at? Let's say uh, 175. And then we hit run. And now we can see, okay. So this is that <clears throat> antenna that I put up a couple weeks ago. So our SWR is 1.81. Our impedance is 87. Resistance 85. Reactance 15. So you get everything real time here so really cool but you can also turn your dial i mean just like any other analyzer and you can see what's going on and then you can hit stop so that's one thing you can do with it another thing so if we're going to hit return that's going to bring us back to our home screen and you can see here this says scan so I'm going to hit scan. Now we have a whole menu down here. So this camera's not picking it up too well. Return, present, span, and scan. So say I want to scan the entire 20 meter band. So I'm going to put this like in the center of 20 meters, okay? Now I can hit the span, and how far apart do I want to go? So there's 300. It, it gets pretty big, so I really only want like 150K, um, which really wouldn't go below that. So let's go 300K. So this will go below and past the 20-meter uh, band. And then we hit scan, and it's going to scan the whole darn thing. You can see up here where it is.
and there we go. So now, see this little green line right here? We can move that around and our frequency changes so we can say, okay, well, where is my antenna resident at? So we all know that my antenna is long. I need to tweak it a little bit. But down here, notice all of our impedance and reactance and all that stuff is all shown there. So we can look, we do one sweep, we can look at the whole thing. So having this scan feature is really nice. If you want to just look at what your whole antenna looks like, that's great. But let's say you want to tune your Wolf River Coils antenna. Now, I've gotten pretty good at tuning this without an analyzer, uh, but with the different configurations that I have, this is the Silver Bullet Mini, I have the Silver Bullet 1000, these are the longer legs, I have the smaller legs, I have the center loaded version, I have two different size whips, so there's a lot of different configurations that I use this antenna in, and crap, where's my analyzer? Oh, haha, <laughs> it's in my back pocket. How cool is that? So. Let's say I want to tune this up on 40 meters. Right now, this collar is probably pretty high. So I'm going to turn this on. There's that coffee sound it makes. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on a single scan. I'm going to set what frequency I want. So let's say I'm on 7... Oh, let's just pick 7200, why not? I'm gonna hit run. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, that's terrible. Watch how quick this is. We're just gonna lower the collar. Starts going down. Ooh, it's going downer and downer and downer. Now you really gotta take a couple steps back. We're at 1.37 right now. Twist it a little bit. Probably need to go down one more coil. Or not. No, I think up was the way to go. Or where it was. 1.35. So just like that, 1.27 SWR. We could get it lower if we tried. 56.6 ohms. Everything looks great. So it's that freaking easy. Now let's just for giggles see what this antenna looks like across the band. Whoops. Yeah, somewhere in there, why not? Would you look at that? Wonderful. So now we can go, let's go all the way down. So at the bottom of the band, our SWR is like two. And at the top, so there's the lowest, what, 210. And then at the top, oh, we're out of band already. You're 1.46 at the top. Awesome. So what do we think? Not too shabby, huh? Uh, it's pretty awesome being able to tune up the Wolf River Coils antenna that fast. Now, yes, I have brought my other analyzer out in the field. It works just the same. They are just analyzers. Uh, but this thing weighs uh, like a brick, and this thing weighs like a feather. So uh, that's really... And, and just the size, man. When you're doing portable... Um, <laughs> I tend to keep bringing more and more stuff and I really want to slim it down. So having this um, really helps. So 
awesome. Uh, I'm, I really, really like this uh, analyzer. I will have a link in the description for this. Uh, thank you, thank you to Richard at MFJ for sending me uh, this for review. He also sent me a few other products that I have uh, to review coming up in the future, so stay tuned to that. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. That's what they're for. So yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff.